Okay, I'll have one jelly donut with powdered sugar on the side, three chocolate frosted, one frosted chocolate, two chocolate frosted chocolate, one dog nut, medium well, one coffee with milk and sugar, hold the coffee. I also have several methods of payment. I'd like you to split this order across evenly. We just can't get enough of Steven Universe. And so we're back with another highly requested recipe. The, the dog, dog nuts! nuts! This is perfect for when you're craving a hot dog and donuts. And want to know what they taste like together. <laughs> <laughs> we have a solid homemade donuts recipe for you today, and I can't wait until we bring all these flavors together so we can finally taste this legendary Steven Universe food. All right, let's get cooking. One dog nut coming up. In a large bowl, add the warm milk, a little sugar and yeast. Let the yeast bloom for five minutes until it is f -f -f foamy. Using a stand mixer with a dough hook, add three eggs, sugar, salt, and butter to the yeast mixture and beat it all together. Now we'll add just half of the flour and mix it up until combined. Add the remaining flour and continue to mix until the dough pulls away from the sides of the bowl. Transfer the dough to a floured surface and knead it until it's nice and smooth. Now we'll transfer the dough to a greased bowl and cover it, letting it rise at room temperature until the dough has doubled in size. Voila! The magic of yeast! 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 Turn the dough out onto a well-floured surface and roll it out until it's about one half inch thick. Cut out the donuts with one large circle cutter and one smaller one on the inside. You can use a cup or a shot glass if you don't have a cookie cutter. Also, we will be frying the donut holes because why not? So save those as well. Put the donuts on a floured baking sheet, cover with a towel, and let rise in a warm place for 45 minutes. Now for a special mustard sauce, because normal mustard is boring. In a small saucepan, add the yellow mustard, apple cider vinegar, sugar, hot sauce, Worcester sauce, and vanilla extract. Bring the mustard sauce to a simmer, whisking continuously. Once the sauce has thickened, take it off the heat and let it cool. Oof. Now, hot mustard gives off quite a strong smell, but trust us, this sauce will be tasty. Just don't stick your face in it. For the strawberry glaze, add the strawberry jam, milk, and ketchup. What? To a bowl and stir to combine. Add the powdered sugar and whisk until smooth. You can add more milk or sugar to get the perfect glaze consistency. Just keep going till it looks like and feels like what you want. We also added a little red food coloring to make the glaze a darker pink. Now the final glaze, chocolate. Mmm. Sift together the powdered sugar and cocoa powder. Slowly stir in the milk and vanilla to make a smooth glaze. Mmm. Gotta love that chocolatey goodness. All right, it is frying time. Heat the oil in a Dutch oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Carefully add the donuts to the oil using a metal spatula so they remain puffed up. Fry them until golden, about 45 seconds on each side, and transfer the donuts to prepared cooling racks. Cook the hot dogs as desired. We boiled them in water, the super easy way. Now all of the elements are prepared and we are ready to assemble the dog nut. Dip your donuts in the icing. We'll need one chocolate donut and two strawberry for each dog nut. Now we couldn't find extra long hot dogs to fit through all of these donuts, so we cut the ends off of two regular hot dogs and just stuck them together with a toothpick. Add the strawberry donut first, and then the chocolate and one more strawberry donut. Use a piping bag or just a plastic bag to add the squiggly mustard and voila! It is the dog nut. No one really asked for this to get made in real life and Steven Universe just did it anyway because hey look, it, it kinda looks delicious, right? It has some appeal to it. Either way, Steven Universe is our favorite franchise when it comes to wild and wacky foods and the dog nut is no different. So eat up, enjoy with a friend, maybe a few friends because there's a lot of food here, and welcome back to the food-filled Steven Universe. All right. Uh... Wow. I gotta say, <laughs> I love a chili dog and I love a donut. But do you love a dog nut? There's only one way to find out. I don't even know where to start with this thing. <laughs> hey. Pretty good. <laughs> We're not giving this enough credit. <laughs> this is a whole meal in one. It really... 
It is a meal with dessert. That's right. Straight up. I'm not gonna lie. It's not, it doesn't make you go, Ugh. You can eat it. I'm definitely still chewing it. I'm definitely gonna take another bite. So it means it's edible and it means it's somewhat tasty. It's like eating a bite of the main course and then eating a bite of dessert instead of eating all of your main <laughs> course and eating dessert at the end. Like, like having- Oh wow, I love this hot dog right here with this mustard sauce, <laughs> great. And then I'm gonna take a bite of my chocolate donut afterwards. It's pretty interesting. No. It's in a good way. It's definitely a flavor explosion. I'm not gonna lie though. I was expecting to be like Bleh! But this is surprisingly edible. And that doesn't mean it's delicious, but it is unique. Wow, this is interesting. I feel like in a good way, I like it. Yeah, it's not bad actually. I feel like if I was a child and wanted to like make up food, this would be it. Mm -hmm. I want all that, I want all that. I know. And sprinkles. I definitely foresee myself making this for Sawyer in the future. Oh. You know, as a baby, he probably doesn't care at all. No, but he loves dodos, and I don't foresee that changing as he gets older. Mm -mm. And as long as I'm his mom, I'm always going to probably serve him chili dogs, so oh, yeah. he will love this. This is certainly the most, one of the more, not the most, one of the more interesting things we've ever had. And not a lot, it, it isn't half bad. I'm down. And plus, at the end of the day, you also get a bunch of donuts. Some final closing thoughts about the dog net. Too enthusiastic. Thumbs up! One enthusiastic thumbs up, and the other thumb still doesn't know what's happening because it can't decipher what's happening in my mouth. We're really looking forward to seeing all of your pictures, comments, concerns, uh, everything you want to share with us about your own version of the dog nut. We mm -hmm. will be highly awaiting and highly suggesting. You know, given that this is the show that also fed a fire assault donut to Lars and it made him literally breathe fire across the entire town and almost burned the whole thing down, mm. I'd much take this. I'd much rather take this. Speaking of the fire salt donut, Speaking you of the have fire salt not donut. purchased the Feast of Fiction kitchen yet. You are in for a big treat because, because the fire salt donut happens to be one of the amazing it's recipes in, here <laughs> in our new cookbook. Yay! So we did a lot of Steven Universe recipes in here. If you guys look at the back cover, obviously we also recreated the cookie cap. Beautiful. But the fire salt donut is one of my favorite recipes there in it here. Is. Because look at that, it's so beautiful, it's so it's pretty, so beautiful. I love the picture, and so oh, cool. donuts. Steven Universe has a particular love of donuts, and so do we here at Feast of Fiction. We do. We love Steven Universe so much, we put Cookie Cat on the freaking cover of this cookbook. So That's right. if you love Steven Universe, if you're watching this video right now, you don't want to miss out. This is the perfect book for Steven Universe lovers, as well as just anyone that loves cartoons and cartoon food. If you guys want to pick up a copy of this cookbook because you want to make something from Steven Universe or any number of fictional properties, Head on over to feastoffiction.com and you can find all the places to buy it. And as always, thank you guys so much. If you've already purchased the cookbook, we have been loving seeing all the pictures and all of yeah. your creations in your own home. There's nothing more special than that. We can't thank you enough. So thank you guys again so much. For you know what that. I saw recently that cracked me up? What? My, uh, one of my friends, his son made the chicken and meth cupcakes from Breaking Bad. Yeah. But they didn't have the materials to make the chicken on top, which is like a pretzel stick and a marshmallow, marshmallow and, uh, and cornflakes around it. So he just used a real chicken nugget instead. No, he did not. <laughs> that is amazing. That is improvising, you guys. That's and a strong substitution. That yeah. is, that's delicious. Anyway, this cookbook is amazing. It has all these amazing full art photos inside here as well. And we made things from your favorite shows like Regular Show and, you know, we've done stuff obviously from Breaking Bad, speaking of chicken meth cupcakes, Avatar The Last Airbender, Food Wars. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wanna pick up this book right now. What are you doing? Head on over to beastfiction.com. I already said that, but do it again. As always, leave a comment below and let us know what you want to see us make next. And thank you all so much for watching, as always, and participating. We love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.